Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is April. I'm the owner and creator and founder for Lena's Pearls. And I'm so grateful to have you here with me today because this is actually a subject that I was actually awakened out of my sleep by the Lord. And it was laid on my heart that this was something that someone needed. You know that age old saying, people are in your life for a reason and a season. And I want to go over the reasons why. Number one, it's not always a bad thing. It's not always forever. And also, sometimes it's for you to leave out of their lives for a season. <laughs> um, during the, the awakening, I'll say, that this was laid on my heart, Another um, part of that was this movie called Big Fish. I don't know if anybody's ever seen this movie, but I'm telling you right now, it is a great movie, not only for just simply entertainment purposes, but there are so many little hidden gems, gems in this movie for lessons of life and just things that we endure. And um, it's really all about a father and a son's relationship, but it is so, such a good movie. But the particular scene that was in my mind and, and, and woke me up was the main character, Edward Bloom. He, his town that he lived in was being um, vandalized by a giant. And he, was, he volunteered to lead the giant out of the town. You know, he made friends with the giant and he you know, was going to help the giant find his way and lead him out on a journey. Well, in this particular part of the movie, he decided to, because he was very adventurous, and daring. He decided to go off the path and instead of staying on the main road out of the town, he actually decided to go through the woods. And you know, he went in and endured some things through the woods, but he ended up finding this town called Spectra. And then as you see through the movie, he needed to go that way. That was key for him and his journey in his life was to go ahead on and divert off the road while the, the giant proceeded down the path. And then also what happens is he comes back out of the woods and meets the giant. He is barefoot and has endured some things and, and made some new friends and all of that, but he ended up coming back around and meeting the giant right on the main road. And that is what this video right here is mainly all about. People are being pulled out of your life because sometimes when that season is ending, it's ending because they are not specifically in a correct place at the time to continue on your journey with you. That can be, they're not ready to be a co-parent. They're not ready to join that business venture with you. They are not ready to get married, they're not ready to merge their life with you and start dating seriously. There's things that they need to get out of their system, so forth and so on. And yes, you know, um, it sometimes is for a good reason and it is permanent. OK, sometimes it is. Sometimes you need to let these folk go and we'll get into that a little bit further down. But the main premise that I'm trying to get over and across to you is it's not always forever and it is not always a bad thing. Honestly, the other point I'd like to make is it may be your season for them is changing and they need, you need to be removed from up out of their journey for a time to work on your stuff so they can work on their stuff. And then when you do come back together, now you're both leveled up and you're able to help and complement each other on whatever the journey is that you are now able to both walk on and walk shoulder to shoulder on and endure together. And that's why I'm saying, you know, you have to be okay when these seasons and these people's time in your life are ending. And especially, I mean, we, I can do a whole nother video on why it, it is, but I think it's kind of obvious as to why it actually is a good thing when negative people and toxic people in your life are departing and, and their season is ending. And I'm going to tell you something else. God will sometimes move people out of the way <laughs> and you can't get to them regardless if you want to <laughs> and 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 vice versa okay because we do love and care about each other and you hear me say this all the time 
those people in our lives. And we, we do see futures with these people, but regardless if it's like a, a relationship, situ, relationship situation or not, you know, maybe it's just a friend is somebody that you, you know, you want to start that business and, and you see their qualities and the things that you know that they have in them that can bring so much to you and help you through this journey. And, you know, you are ready to go and you're about to, you know, go start looking at properties or, you know, what have you. And they drop off or you can start seeing that things are just you guys are just not clicking anymore. You're just it's not working out. They're just not ready right now. That goes back to my very first point in this. They're just not ready. They are not in the correct place at this time in this particular season that you're also changing into. They're not ready. They're not ready. And they have to be pulled apart from you and go their way and find their way. And that's why you have to let them go. Be okay with it. And when I say you know, let them go. And, and, and the overall still point point of this is it's not always forever. And it's not always some far off distance either where you don't see them ever again. You don't know where they are. You don't have any contact with them in any way, shape, form or fashion. It's not always that, but they're not that immediate constant presence in your day to day. And that's okay. Let it go because you could be an indirect blessing you might be that one piece that is preventing them from their growth and they're moving forward. And let's go back to the scenario of it being a relationship. You want to marry this person so bad. You, you know, you've been dealing, you've been dating, you know, and, and you know that the next step is there. You're ready. They're not, they're not, they are just not. And it's okay. And you might be, like I said, that last pivotal key that's really just holding them back from gaining that additional step in their journey so that they can level up and meet you. Because sometimes you're here and they're right here and you're just holding on, holding on, holding on. And they cannot, they won't because they're busy trying to stay stagnant and stay where they are for you. And it's sometimes that's why it's best for you to let go. You are the problem. And I don't want to say that in a nasty way, but sometimes, yes, we are the issue. We love them so much and we want so much and we know that together we can do so much and they may just they have some stuff that they need to do with. And I'm telling you right now, you want to let these people go and let them find their way. And if they're coming back to, you know, the whole thing, you know, if you if they love you, da, 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 let them go. And if it's meant to be, that is true. <laughs> That is very true. And it's not always a negative thing. Sometimes it's like, yes, go ahead. Get your stuff together so that you can meet me back over here. And when, you know, and you will know, you can tell when. Sometimes the reason why we're old, we're holding on because we're so afraid that they do have that stuff that they need to deal with. And we're afraid that if we don't keep them a presence and we don't, you know, that if we do let them go, they'll, they'll get so absorbed in that stuff that they won't return. And that's just simply not the case. And hey, listen, maybe they need to go seek and find whatever it is to bring it back and bring this other individual into the situation, especially when it comes down to business ventures. Maybe that in their journey, in their walk, before they come back and meet you back on that main road, they're bringing back so many other things, not just characteristics and growth and wisdom and and their own things that they can and value added value to whatever it is whatever journey you two were both you know on and it had to pull over and and break apart they may be also bringing another person and an individual in so allow people and be okay with the departing and these seasons changing you cannot control when these leaves start changing color and spring is <laughs> and summer is over and here comes fall. And I'm telling you right now, if it's truly intended and God has a purpose for this person and, and is, has this person that he wants to walk in a certain path away from you, you will, it will hurt you because they will, God will allow them to get snatched up from away from you and you won't be able to do anything about it anyway. So embrace the changes. Embrace when people are being pulled from you, when the season is changing and you see that they're going off on their own path and they you will your marriage when it does finally happen. If this is if this is who God intended 
for you to go to the altar and get married to, trust me, you want them to go handle their stuff because you're already going to have enough going on anyway. And, and that's, <laughs> that is, I say it all the time, but that really truly is a whole nother video. And I will be addressing quite a few things as it comes to marriage. But anyway, you're going to have enough to deal merging your life together and really merging your life together. And yes, that piece of paper does make a difference. And like I said, that's going to be all in that other video and series. But anyway, so you, a lot of times it is for the, the better of the entire situation and for your t entire situation with this person. And I'm telling you, let them go handle their stuff. <laughs> and it could be all kind of things that you know that they need to go handle and you're in their way. So embrace it, let go. And in the meantime, continue on your journey, continue being the best you, continue doing what you need to do that you know that your part is in this scenario, be it the business, be it the, you know, um, the raising a child on your own and just being single a little bit longer or whatever it is, let them go on ahead. And then I'm telling you, if it is intended for it to turn back around and, and, and you are supposed to join with this person again in a full time situation, it will be so much better. You'll be so grateful. Sometimes God will set people apart from you so he can work on them for you and for what he has in store for you. Trust the process. Trust that this is a good thing. And, and even if it, like I said, even if it's not for you to, to merge back in and come back on that same path and they're off on their path and, and wish them the best because there is a reason why it did not work on you both being on the same street. And that's okay. So as always, <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much it for today. A little bit of a short video, hopefully. Um, feel free to, you know, like, subscribe, and do not forget to hit that little notification bell so that you can be notified when I upload. Also, you can join the Facebook group and follow me on Instagram. All of that information will be down below. And if you have any questions, you need any advice, you have any additional content that you would like to share with me privately, Feel free to email me at lenaspearls4 at gmail.com. I keep all emails completely confidential. I will always ask you before I share anything on this channel. So please know that you email me. It is in confidence. Also, feel free to comment down below and share any experiences that you've had with this particular situation. If you're going through any hurt or anything that happened to you in regards to losing that person and, and or also share any stories down below in the comments where someone left your life and you guys the season was over and it was for the best and you see what i mean and you can express and give further examples of why this is so true because those that know this know that this actually is very true so i really truly hope this blessed someone today thank you so much for sharing your time with me i do appreciate it until next time take care